What's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being an electrica. I really appreciate that. Now, if you're new here, my name is David. Okay? Now, I am at the base station uh, and I would like us to go through how power is distributed in the base station. Now, I am a power technician in a, a base station company. Okay? So today, I want us to look at how power is distributed around, uh, you know, the load on this base station. Now, the first thing you have to know is all loads at the base station are DC loads, okay? That's the first thing. Now, we have two utility power supply. I mean, you have two sources of power. We have the utility supply from the, you know, the company that manages the grid of the country. Then we have a diesel engine, okay, generator. All right? Now, after we have those two sources of power, uh, in case all of them are not available, which is it's not easy, but it's possible, then we have a backup power supply. Okay? So, the backup power supply we have, uh, the, it's a battery bank. Now, this battery bank, it has four pieces of battery. Each battery is 100 ampere hours, and because they are four, they give us 400 ampere hour. More on the battery later. Now, the most important thing around here is the rectifier. Because, as I said earlier, all the, the load here are DC loads, okay? Definitely, because we are getting uh, AC from the utility power supply and from the generator, so we need a DC. So what we have to do is we need a rectifier. So this is a rectifier. It's a Huawei rectifier. There are so many brands um, that, you know, make these kind of devices, okay? Now, what a rectifier does, it produces AC, uh, I mean, it, it consumes AC and it gives us DC, okay? The system voltage here is 50, but, okay, the system voltage is 48, but it, it is maintained uh, not below 50. It's always uh, 50, 53, 54, okay? All right. Now, the rectifier gets the AC from uh, either generator or the utility, and then it produces DC. Now, this rectifier, the way you're seeing it, it has modules, like the one I'm having right now. Now, these modules, each one is 3,000 watts. Okay, that's the output. With the 53 volts, so, uh, that is we have power divided by voltage. Now, we can get current, which is around 56. Okay, so, each one of these, it can give us 56 amps DC and we have nine of them so that means that nine of them they'll give us a total of around 500 amps okay now this site it has the total load of this site is a hundred amps DC okay but uh, sometimes if for example if uh, the, the hundred the, the, the hundred amps DC can be maintained only if the battery bank is full okay but in the case the battery bank is not full and the very system has to charge the battery now the demand in current increases we will have the 100 for the total load but still we also have an extra probably 50 or 100 to charge the battery the charging current okay so that's why you know the size a rectifier a bit more bigger than the load that is at the site okay So, that's how power is distributed uh, in that BTS company. But, it doesn't stop there. Now, this is what happens. So, there are some guys somewhere who monitors the alarm, the critical power alarms for these stations. Okay? Now, there are like four alarms, power alarms. Okay? Now, we have a Siemens failure. So, every time the utility supply sheds, uh, the people in the control, they will get uh, an alarm, it will extend, okay? Now, if the generator is running, if for some reason the generator has been called to run, that alarm, that's also an alarm, generator running, it will be extended. If the generator fails to run, if it is cold, and then it fails to start, okay? It will send an alarm which is called generator mains failure, GMF, okay? 
And now, if remember the utility power supply has shared, the system called a generator, the generator failed, okay? Now, we have a battery bank. So it means that the system will send another alarm which is called battery providing, okay? So the most critical alarm would be GMF and battery providing, okay? If you are called that the site is on battery and it doesn't cycle, that it's on battery and then it has a GMF, you will definitely know that's not good. That's not good. So you have to find a way to rush, go to the site, and then you see what happened with, with the, the generator. Or probably even at the utility supply, maybe the power is there, but maybe it's a breaker that has tripped or a fuse has blown. Okay? So those are one of the things uh, that we, uh, we look at. So the people who monitor the alarms, they will give you a call and tell you that the site A has a GMF, uh, or a generator means failure, or it's on battery. Okay, but now in this very system, there are two kind of settings. There is cycle mode and the other mode is called the traditional mode. Now, traditional mode, uh, it means that every time if the main utility power supply sheds, the system will call the generator right away. Okay, so the power goes, uh, you know, many contactors go, uh, come out. And then the system will call the generator instantly. But if the site is in a cycle mode, in most cases, a cycle means that it can run a generator for a certain time and then it switches it off, you know, and then it goes on battery. In most cases, cycle mode, you know, help uh, the owners of these companies to save on money. Because then if it has a good BHT, maybe it can uh, the site can be on battery for around an hour okay that means that within that one hour neither the journey running or the utility supply is used okay so the battery can entirely uh, stay on battery for some hours and then later if the battery depletes for around 80 percent okay then either the utility supply or the generator can be called to run and the rectifier will now start charging the battery. So at that time, the load will be high because remember I said, now well, like the load on this site is 100 amps. But again, we'll have the charging current which will shoot high because these batteries, they have been depleted or they have been drawn at up to 80%. Okay? So uh, uh, the rectifier will need to do more to maintain, to produce more so that it can maintain the load, the site load, and at the same time charge this battery as fast as possible. Because if the charging current, if the demand of the battery charging current is around maybe 150 and the, what the system is able to give maybe is around 30 amps, it will take long to charge. Okay? It will take long to charge. So, that's how power is distributed now the good thing with the the direct fire in most cases like i said uh, if you look at the input current of this rectifier the input current let me close this which you see each module it has 16 amps which draws from whatever source but if you have nine of them, you have around 144, you know, uh, amps. And this generator here is around 15 kVA, which you may not draw. Uh, the rated current is around 63 or 65 amps, but you may not, you, you know, run it with 63 amps, you know, for a long period of time. Maybe probably it can run around 45 amps comfortably, okay? So, uh, these rectifiers, they have an ability to, to limit current, okay? For example, if, uh, you know, if it's supposed to be 16, and you know very well that 16, it will be uh, giving us around uh, 56 amps DC, so we can limit that. It can even, because a generator is uh, 15 kVA now, but it can comfortably uh, maybe give us around 13 kilowatt okay 
So if it can comfortably give us 13 kilos or 12 kilowatt, we can ask the system, we put a setting in the system to limit okay, the power. So we can limit the power up to 12 kilowatt. Now that means that uh, this rectifier, they cannot draw more than 12 kilowatt from the, that DG engine. So you see how that, you know, it, 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 the system can avoid, you know, putting much pressure or overloading the generator or even uh, overloading, for example, the utility supply, overloading the, the fuses and the breakers, okay? So that's what happens uh, at the base station. Now, I felt that I can, you know, shoot out this video so if you're interested uh, most of these videos now just go to the comment right below and uh, you let me know if you enjoy them so that we can have multiple videos we can talk about you know uh, battery banks we can talk about solar solar connection we can you know talk more about dg engineers we can talk more about rectifiers and so much so forth okay so that has been it uh thank you very much for watching if you're new here once again thank you for joining electrica uh feel free subscribe like and share leave a comment okay so and also most of these uh you know vlogs we can all, we always you know you know make articles out of them and then we post on our website electrica.org okay so, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'm out.